All right, chat, deck number two. We have for you Blue White and Soul Artifact. So I am a really big fan of Subterranean Schooner, and this is kind of the deck that is utilizing this, I think, maybe to its full potential. Just a deck that is really good at putting a one-power creature into play. So you have four Spyglass Siren and four Thraben Inspector, both of which are very good enablers for a turn two and soul artifact. But they also are bodies that crew Schooner, because the crew cost is only one. Somebody had asked earlier about Skilled Animator versus the new card, which I believe is called Vexing Glyph. Animator is better for the reason of being able to crew the schooner. So you can, like, if you have Animator and another artifact in the battlefield, you can go make that artifact the 5-5, then use the Animator to crew the schooner. So that's why I think Animator's a little bit better. Um, so you have that in Soul Package. And then you're kind of pairing that with stuff that pays you off for having a bunch of permanents, like Regal Bunicorn and Bichico's Reign of Truth. Both of these cards exceptionally powerful when combined with Steel Seraph, because these get very large. Steel Seraph gives flying or lifelink, and that's pretty good. And then uh, kind of just rounding out the deck, you have your removal spell, which is Portable Hole. You have a couple of Skrelves for protection when you go for Insul Artifact, a Shadow Spear, a couple of Stubborn Denials for interaction, and then Sideboard... Uh, mostly self-explanatory, just like some additional removal spells, Graveyard Hate, stuff against uh, Rakdos. And yeah, I think this deck looks pretty cool. The one thing that I am missing, you'll notice is absent from my list, is Ornithopter and Springleaf Drum. I don't know exactly how to fit those cards in the deck. Maybe the answer is trim on some number of Bunnicorns and Machikos, maybe the Steel Seraphs, maybe the third animator. But I want to try this, see how this goes, and we can make changes accordingly. All right, what's my hand? Uh, missing a payoff, but we have enough payoffs that I'm willing to keep this hand. <clears throat> it's been okay. We've been learning a lot. I've only played one deck so far, but we've learned a lot about that particular deck. All right, payoff acquired. What's the opposite of 07? 7 -0? Interesting. Um, I could insole the map and just attack Kiora for six. Or I could ignore the Kiora. I have a lot of different ways I could play this. It's just kind of sketchy to insole the map and they just have a Cav. I could hole the Elf and hold up Stub for Karn. And then next turn, land and soul, kill Kiora. And then, yeah, that's not terrible. Let's try that. And then we can put the Kiora to six, which means that in soul plus Siren is lethal on Kiora next turn. This looks good. I think I like this. We have to hold up stub for Karn this turn. I don't think there's a way we can, a world where we cannot hold up stub here. Because we can't let Karn resolve for the most part. That's kind of fine. Eh. Fine-ish. Okay. We have an elf. Yup. But now we have hard stub up, which is good. That's a really good draw, too. This is only till the end of my turn, right? Yeah, okay. Let's insole the map token. I really want to hold up stub here. I'm going to attack both at Kiora, I think. Oh, they can double block the map token by doing this. Yeah, I can't let them do that. Okay, <laughs> just one then. Right, I forgot they could double. I, in my head, they weren't going to play the other elf, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm just never beating Nykthos anyway, so can't play around it. They trade both, it's nice. No, because they get to keep the troll. I don't think it's good for me. <clears throat> God damn it. Now beating this calf's gonna be impossible. <sighs> okay. So, one, two, three, four. This is only a 5-5. Five, five. 
So I think the play is Siren Inspector and then set up for Machikos on Siren next turn. Because I need to hold up Stub again. Could have also deployed the Shadow Spear instead of the Inspector. Maybe that was better. Sounds good, Dark World. Have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. Well, there's never a world where I can go equip La Saga because I have to hold up Stub the whole time. You know what I mean? See, I guess the issue is now they just chump block with Cav and get Karn back. Right? So, like, we kind of have to try and kill them in one hit, which seems really difficult to do. Maybe they send everything. There's no way they attack with Cav here, right? They should all back Cav. Wow. I think this is good for me. I could just do this, right? Take five. Do we have lethal? I don't think we have lethal, right? I'm going to make the obvious blocks. No. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have 13. 14, sorry. We have 14. So I guess the play is... Huh. Inspector Machikos? Yeah, Inspector Machikos... Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying it's, like, really huge that they didn't, um, that they left the, they, that they attack with the Cav. I think what I'm supposed to do is attack them for 14? 14, leave two blockers back, then I can block these two. I mean, do I even need to leave two blockers back? Why do I care about Kiora? Cut them off a draw with the old girl troll? I'm not sure I care about Kiora. I kind of just want to face them. Well, it only lets them draw one card. Oh, so you had to pump the map token, send both 1-1s one at Kiora? Yeah. Yeah, no, we can't really afford to do that, right? The way that I played this. Yeah, I guess you're right. You're right, okay. If I Yeah, but I kind of wanted to leave two blockers back, though. I guess I don't need two blockers. Well, now that I've done this, I'm just going to send everything at them. 8, 9, 14, they go to 6. Next turn, this is 8, 9, 8, 9, trample, minus 6 is 3. Oh, I guess we have lethal with this anyways, right? If they attack with the lair. So yeah, we can hold back a second blocker. Yeah, you're right, I probably should have went pump this, send the two one ones at Kiora, send this at them. Which would have been 12. That probably would have been a little bit better. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I deserve this. I deserve this. Well, this could have been prevented. This could have been prevented, huh? That feels bad. Okay, Dampic Sphere, no. Stroke Stub, yes. Maybe even silence. Destroy evil, no. This card bad. These cards bad. Uh, I'm going to trim an animator. I think this is not a very good Bunnicorn matchup. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to bring in Damping Sphere. We can keep in one Bunnicorn, maybe. Bunnicorn is still pretty good with, uh, with Shadow Spear. Yeah, I screwed that game up. I would have won that game if I had just done it the other way. Well, I mean, I'm keeping. I don't know if I'm going for turn two in Soul, but I'm definitely keeping. I probably am, right? It's like, they only play one Besaju anyways. <clears throat> yeah, there's almost no way I don't go for in Soul here. Alright, just jam. <laughs> just jam, duck. Show me the Besaju. Show me the Besaju. I wonder, what's like the best protection spell against Besaju? Is it uh, Lorenz Escape? That's probably the best one, right? Surge, maybe? Wait, Surge works, right? Surge is target permanent? Okay. It's like that, huh? 
Yeah, Surge is probably a little bit better. This draw is really good. We're still going to lose, but <laughs> my draw is really good, you know. It's like, my draw is best possible, and I still think I can't possibly win this game. It's kind of depressing. Just classic mono green. Yeah, top deck Seraph would be nice. I think this is more classic in Soul. You think so? Yeah, Seraph. Seraph would be really nice. Maybe we should play more Seraphs. <clears throat> Especially with Bunnicorn. Seraph seems kind of sick. Maybe three, maybe four. Yeah. Especially in this deck, when you're just like... this. In the entire premise of this deck is make a giant idiot. And Seraph seems really good in decks that want to make a giant idiot. What do we got? Okay. Right, or flying. <clears throat> Someone trophied? No. Karn with one floating. Uh, that gets Ratchet Bomb, probably. Probably gets Ratchet Bomb. Feels kind of Jover now. Yeah, they can get Might too, I guess. Siren's been good. I like that card. It's been impressive. It's like the perfect card for these types of decks. They do get the Ratchet Bomb. Not a terrible draw. I mean, we just kill Karn and hold up Stroke, right? Do I have to play the Inspector pre-combat? <clears throat> no, because the Bunnycorn still kills Karn. Yeah, so Bunny at Karn, everything else at them. It doesn't force... Th oh, man, the problem with that is it doesn't force them to pop the Silex. I mean, they're not going to go to one, right? There's no way they go to one here. And if they go to one, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, there's, there's just no way they go to one here. Like, going to one versus two one-power creatures seems insane. Yeah, there's no way they're going to one here. If they pop it, Bunny doesn't kill Karn. It still would. It's it, Bunny's a 3-3 three, three regardless. What are you talking about? <clears throat> oh, it will. Yeah, it will. All right, they have one card in hand, and I have a counter spell. Surely I can't lose this game, right? Our opponent has one card in hand, and I have a counter spell. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how do I lose this game? I know, yeah. I, I can't even attack through the layer. <laughs> just make just like play defense with this. Plea Chow gifting a sub to Nima. Thank you for the gifted sub, Plea Chow. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Plea Chow. Based Plea Chow. We are playing Besaju. That's wild. Uh, sure. They're just going to wall up. Makes sense. Okay, I'm with you. Draw. It's pretty good. Uh, is that lethal? One, two... So that's plus three and then plus four. That's eight. Looks lethal to me. Or no, it's plus two and plus three, right? Yeah, so it's exaxes. Exaxes. Mm. This is like the exact situation where I thought Siren was going to be nuts. Just like... The ability to, like, w w the reason this card is so good is when combined with this, like, it's just the whole package, right? It gives you an artifact that you can play on turn one that you can set up return to in soul, and it also gives you a flying body from Machikos. That's the entire reason why I thought this card was good, and that's, like, how it's playing out, too, which is nice. It's just, like, it's the whole package, you know? Yeah, I guess that's true. If I had Steel Seraph or Shadow Spear, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I don't know if Shadow Spear was lethal. I don't think it was 100% lethal. 
the ship. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep the sand. We have found the boat. The boat is here. Back second boat. If their hand's good, this hand gets dumpstered, but... Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not now. Perhaps there is a chance. Oh, I didn't update Moxfield. Hold on. I got you. I forgot. Hold, please. My decks. Uh, Pioneer decks. Where is it? Azorius in Soul. Did we F? Why are people type? Why don't you type F? Don't tell me we F'd. We didn't F. It is updated. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not update the command? I think I updated the extension, but not the command. There we go. Uh, what am I doing with my life? If I jam in Soul, it's really bad if they have Land Cav. But, like... Is there anything I can do about land cav anyways? I could just play boat. Boat doesn't sound that appealing, though. I kind of think we just have to jam here. Because, like, I'm just not beating cav anyways, right? Yeah, I'm just not beating cav. Yeah, they might be holding Paseju. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Well, they did have the Baseju. Deck for Juan. This isn't even that bad, though, because now we can just go animator, animate the 5-5. Five five. God fucking damn it. Don't kill my map token, please. Ah! Karn is a really fun card, isn't it? I love Karn. Karn is fun. Karn is fun. Your turn. Dark Steel Citadel. Great. We can't kill the Cav either. <sighs> Do I really have to make this play? I have to just put my... I basically have to trade Schooner for Karn here, right? I don't have a choice. Just don't have a choice. Alright, kill your Karn. <laughs> Opponent's like, oh, how about this second Karn? <clears throat> I'm 100% I'm conceding the second Karn. Just show me. Just show me. Could have it too. Against the Karn? Our opponent has a Karn in play. Are we, we can't crew anything. Die on the phone. Thank you for the four month resub. No, you're good. You're good. Karn is a Magic the Gathering card, unfortunately. Just show me the Karn. I know you have it. Come on. I know you have it. I know you got it. Colossus seems decent explorer. Does it? Yeah, with the new cards, right? Fabrication Foundry and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Silly me for thinking I could play a cool new brew and people just show up with monogreen in the queue. Silly, silly me. Your turn. Isn't the Zoetic Lift just better than the animator for Pioneer? No, because you're playing the boat. So the, the 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 reason that I'm playing Animator over the Glyph is because this gives you a 5-5 five five and the 1-3 body to crew the boat. So I think I like this better for that reason. I'm just... Uh, you win. I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. Mm, I'm on the draw. 
yeah, this is kind of the problem that I thought was going to happen. We just have too many two drops. Mm, this hand's good. Very, very good. I am an asshole. Goblet Shrine. Grease Fang? Thoughtseize. <clears throat> yeah, we're only going to play against Mono Green now. I mean, I think they should take Siren. I don't know if they realize that they should take Siren. It is a new card, so maybe they don't want to read it. Is there a Pirate Deck in Pioneer? I don't know. What are the legal, like, playable pirates? There's the new one, the 3-drop, which is obviously good. Ah, they read the card. Reading the card explains the card. My hand really sucks now, huh? Like, really sucks. Convoke beans with the 6-mana Convoke Counterspell. What are we convoking in our beans deck, though? All right, please be something cool and not just boring Grease Fang. Your turn. What do you expect? People to, like, try new stuff. I don't know, man. <laughs> I expect people to, like, actually give a shit and not just play the same deck from three months ago, you know what I mean? Alright, well, they didn't have Grease Fang, thank God. Eh, okay. That's kind of a new card. It's, like, new-ish. New adjacent. Is this up to? Oh, it's until end of turn, so it doesn't matter. Uh, probably because now they can just sack this and find Grease Fang, so... Yeah, we're dead. Alright, you in. <coughs> we are dead. Let's try cutting Bunnicorns again. I think I'm gonna redo this deck and just... Does this do what I want it to? No, doesn't. Yeah, sure would be a good spot for Get Lost, huh? Announcement bad, that's bad, that's bad. All my cards are pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it kills Parhelion and Chariot, but that's kind of not where you want to be, I think. Maybe it's maybe it is. I don't know. I forgot about Get Lost. Th this should be a Get Lost for sure. We could, we, we could change the sideboard a little bit. That was kind of just an oversight. Could play like two of these, I guess. Maybe one of these. Probably would rather just have the third bunny at that point. Okay, here's Giganta. Uh, I mean, my hand is good. I'm not going to mulligan it. Does it beat turn three Grease Fang? No, but that's fine. They will simply just not have it. I guess this basic island is kind of awkward in this hand. Yeah, basic island's hell awkward in this hand, huh? The lands are nice. <laughs> kind of wish it was a basic plains, though. <laughs> Kek by. All right, give me a rest in peace or a white source. I'll take that. That's that's decent too. Kind of regret not playing the Skrelv. Obviously, I didn't have this in my opening hand, and I was planning on playing this on turn two. But little punish for not playing Skrelv first. Lands look better on Moto than than IRL. Okay, okay. That's a big bunny. That is a moderately large bunny. I mean, at this point, there's no reason to play the Skrelv, right? I guess there is, so I can get it past their angels. Yeah. Wait, we actually just win this game, I think? Because they go to 10, even if they Parhelion me. 6, 7, 8... I guess I can't quite make the bunny lethal. It's close. Okay, well, they just bricked anyway, so who cares? Chose Besage you. That's fine. Can't Besage you, my bunny. Cool. All right, game three. Let's do it. <clears throat> the lands do look a little weird. 
I've seen them, I've looked at them a, a little bit in paper, and I know somebody mentioned this on Twitter, but they kind of just look like an ad card that has a QR code. Like, you just take your phone and you spend five minutes pointing your phone at the, the land. Like, why is this not working? Yeah, back to all two drops. We need to fix this deck. I need to cut some of these two drops. Sounds fine. It's not ideal, but it's got a curve. Uh, I guess we're now leading with that. Seems to make sense. Someone pointed out that the swamp is blue and the arc shows an island that I can't unsee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me look at the swamp now. Now I, I have to test this theory. Hold, please. Pause, chant. Hold, please. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, so someone pointed out the swamp is blue and the arc shows an island. It literally does. That doesn't look like a swamp at all. How, how do you call that a swamp? <laughs> what the fuck? Wither Bloom Command. Uh, okay, I'll play this. Your turn. I, I mean, I like them all. I think they're all pretty good. Yeah, just like half... <laughs> Somebody th somebody's going to think you're playing fucking Phoenix when you play two swamps in the first two turns. And in paper, what you would do is you would separate them you would play, like, one swamp in one pile and the other swamp in another pile, and nobody would ever know, you know? they just like, oh, maybe they have, like, a disdainful stroke and you have two swamps in play. Yeah. Yeah, F and M play. What is this? Gold Altered Basics from Caverns of Ixalan. Wow, those look really nice. Those look really good. Sheesh. <clears throat> Essica's Chariot, huh? Mm. Weird. I mean, I'm racing. Oh, we're racing, all right. Oh, we racing. I need to find a second white source. Okay, I don't know why they would crew if they're not going to block with it. I could play defense, but with the Seraph, I kind of just want to go beat downs. Because the second we find a white source, we can just attack for um, like five in the air, or even lifelink. Yeah, or just two more lands. I'm getting to make three threes. It's kind of sketch. Oh, they can also just find Grease Fang next turn. Yeah, that's bad. It's not good. All right, give me a Rest in Peace. I mean, Rest in Peace probably isn't even good enough. Because we just can't beat the Chariot. Uh, we're dead. Okay, you win. <coughs> uh, the sand looks fine. Yeah. Screlve into bunny into this. Looks fine to me. Bootleg river. It's on the list for stuff to do today. Depending on whether or not we actually get to it is another thing. Yorion Jetbeer's garden. Yeah, these hands look good. <clears throat> I've yet to crew it once. I was in a position to crew it, and then my modern green opponent played fucking Karn, so fuck them. <laughs> no, I probably won't make a decision for a while. Ooh. Alright, we boat. We boat. I don't know if that's right, but I just want to cast it because it's fun, and it's cool. Yeah, I don't know if it's right, but I just want to cast it. I just want to cast new cards, man. The bunny can crew the boat next turn. And then we can have the bunny explore through the forest. 
This bunny does look like it does some exploring, you know? Yeah. Path to the World Tree. <clears throat> Line binding. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm just gonna kill the Nightly's presence. Nope, not that. This. Your turn. And then they're gonna cast Enigmatic Incarnation, and then I'm gonna die. Because they sack the binding and get a 7 drop. Okay, well, they we know for a fact they don't have Incarnation in hand because we knew they had an untapped land, so they clearly have nothing. Or at least they don't have that card, which is good. All right, yep, boat. Yep, boat. I would like to attack you for 10 damage, please. Can I attack you for 10? Just 10. Just a cool 10 piece. All right, you're at seven. Go. You figure it out. Blue, green. Recycling a triome? Leyline binding. Uh, sure. So they probably have another removal spell in hand. I mean, if they target it in combat, then I just pay two life. So, they couldn't do that in combat. Oh, boy. Well, that does chump block. <laughs> that certainly is a good chump blocker, huh? All right, target. Um, is there any reason to do anything else? No, not really. Let's go to combat. It's kind of cool that the flipped Machikos cruise the boat. I like that. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Could crew and pump boat for explore. What do you mean? If I crew, then I can't attack with the bunny. I'm just going to kill their beast token. How do they have a poison counter? Oh, Skrelf. <laughs> I attack with them. I attack them with Skrelf on turn two, I think. Yeah, turn two. Could crew and pump bolt for explore. I don't know what you mean by that, Cygnus. I can't crew and attack with the Bunnicorn. I, what am I missing? There's two Spire of Industries for Gigantha. They mean crew before main, so Saga targets boat. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Okay, I'm with you. I know what you're saying now. Okay, yeah, maybe you're right. That could have been better. Oh, well, they're dead. <laughs> Before I kill them, I'm going to crew just so we can say that the boat did something. Because I want to make sure the boat doesn't feel left out. You know what I mean? Uh, sure, graveyard. All right, cool. We can we can say that we attack them for lethal with the boat. <clears throat> yeah, no, you're probably right, Cygnus. I didn't think about that. I didn't have a draw step stop. All right, destroy evil coming in. Stub coming in. Stroke coming in. Pee hole coming out. Is there anything else? Is like a wedding announcement maybe good? Probably not. Could have given the boat a soul. Oh, I could have insulted the boat. That would have been based. This is probably it, right? Scout lets you keep one landers. I mean, <laughs> you probably still shouldn't be keeping one landers, right? Yeah, one thing that I've that I've noticed so far is we have a lot of two drops. Now, I'm not sure what the worst two drop is. I think the answer is probably Bunnicorn. But we have we have probably a few too many two drops. To, that I that are more than I'd like. Also, three of this might be too many. His hand's just fine, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I mean it's not great. better now yeah i wonder if you want to be playing like springleaf plus ornithopter we have no ornithopters which feels kind of weird 
Yeah, it's possible you want to be playing Ornithopters. Huh. I was going to destroy Evil the Chained and then untap and animate that, but I guess it's just better to play the Siren now. And then maybe save Destroy Evil for uh, Enigmatic, perhaps. Okay. Hmm. I would love to draw Stubborn Denial. God, it's so awkward. It's really awkward. Because, I mean, I want to animate her here, but I, then I go Shields Down. Can I afford to? No, I probably should wait. Because then if I draw land 4 or stub, I can go in soul plus hold up the other thing. I mean, it feels really bad to just pass here, but I think it's correct. <clears throat> Do you have any other, any other ideas with Siren? The only other Siren deck that I have is a blue-red in soul deck. Which I think red could potentially be good too, because you get the there's a new red there's like a red equipment I think that's indestructible. It's one mana, it's like a pickaxe or something, and that plus insole it's like another indestructible thing for insoles, which is nice. Yeah, diamond pickaxe. We have turned into a Minecraft stream. Okay, well, I'm going to use my mana. It's kind of bad to wait till end of turn to do this. Land or stub, please. Land or stub, please. Hey. All right, attack you. I don't think I'm supposed to cast anything here, but, I mean, it feels bad. Yeah, drum would kind of help out a little bit. <clears throat> it was just one of those things where I felt like if you're playing Spring Leaf Drum, you kind of also have to be playing Ornithopter. And I didn't know how to fit both Drum and Ornithopter. Like, the Bunnicorns can definitely go. I think that's probably the weak link here. I'm doing something in end phase. What are you doing in end phase? Pondering your life decisions. Okay, land acquired. Land acquired. They just have Besaju. Sure. Okay, tech. We know they have Yorian in hand. So maybe we just cut the Bunnicorns. How many lands are we playing right now? I think we're playing 21. Yeah, so if we're adding... If we're adding spring leaf drums, we can probably also shave on lands, right? So we can cut like four bunnicorns, two lands, and play like three drum, three ornithopter, or something like that, just to lower the curve a little bit. What are what the fuck? What are we hard casting? Come on, <laughs> come on, man! All right, fine, you win. I can't. I actually can't. Skilled animator feels bad. So the reason, but the reason behind Animator, I've said this a couple of times, but uh, it's really good because if you have a random artifact in play, you can make the artifact a five five, and it's a one three to crew the boat. So it gives you, it kind of like gives you both things. So I think if you're playing the boat, Animator is much better than those other cards because it just does both for you. And I think the boat is probably the best two drop in this deck. If I'm being honest, that card does seem seem really good. Yeah, but then you just get hands like this, where it's just so clunky. Okay. Um... I mean, this is probably one of those just jam hands, and then concede when they have chained. <clears throat> I did, and I've said multiple times that I think Skilled Animator is a better card. I mean, I guess I don't have to shove, right? I can just play Machikos first. Yeah, we can just play Machikos first. It's still plus three. This is, like, kind of fine. Or plus two, sorry. Attack for three, attack for three. It's 
still like decent pressure. This thing flips. Sure. All right. Well, surely they don't have two Chain of the Rocks, right? Ain't no way they have another removal spell. I'll probably just cast Seraph here. Casting Seraph, because then if we draw a Stubborn Denial, then we can hold up Stub. We should probably just be playing four Stubs, right? I think I only have two in the main, one in the board. But maybe this is just a four Stub main deck type of thing. Yeah, that flips. Uh, I mean, I am going to go for it. I'm playing my land first so that if they remove the clue, I can just draw a card. White, green. They are besaging the Steel Seraph? Okay. Interesting. Well, tag for five. It's not even tapped to draw a card, so if they have another removal spell, I can just sack it. <clears throat> Decisive Denial. Green, blue, instant. Choose one. Green, 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 uh, I mean, that card's fine. Doesn't seem that bad. You probably need a high density of creatures in your deck to be able to enable the, the fight part of it, but it's not the worst card. I've seen worse cards. Why did they bring an Archon? Your turn. Oh, I should have picked up Jeff. God damn it. Should have picked up Gigantha. Too late. <clears throat> Can't stroke that. Something in the sideboard for Convoke. Uh, Ratchet Bomb? Ratchet Bomb is probably not that bad. So we can Disdainful Stroke the Yorion, and then hopefully, I don't know, just like find something to be able to attack past the Archon. I can't really think of much else in blue-green that would be good against Convoke. Thought it was nicer than Make Disappear because it's a Mana Leak. Well, it's only non-creature, right, so... It's not just counter target spell, it's non creature. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was just counter target spell, I, I would I would play the shit out of that card. But yeah, non creature is kind of tough. It's a little more narrow than you'd like it to be. Okay, they're going to play the Orion, which we have to counter. Beans. Beans. Okay, this is kind of good for us because they currently do not have five colors to be able to cast... Um, what's it called? They don't have five colors to be able to cast Binding, so we can just make a 5-5 five five and then have it be a two-turn clock. If they're smart, they probably chump block with Archon. <clears throat> So then if they have two removal spells, they can go removal spell and then... Oh. I mean, I have to pay. I don't have enough pressure if I don't pay. Alright, attack. Makes sense. Okay. Don't draw five minute spell, please. One time. One time dealer. Okay, that's good for us. Brick, 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 brick. I think they bricked. Why not counter it, play the second and soul and hold up stub? Because they had an Archon in play at the time. I couldn't play any of the spells. If I let it get countered, I can't play another spell that turn. Um, is there any reason to insole the Skrelv this turn? I don't know. I think the only reason... 
would be if they resolve a removal spell and turn off my stub. But I think it might just be better to hold up stub and be able to pay for Mystical Dispute. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to pass here. Maybe I should have attacked with the Thraben Inspector. I didn't think they would chump block that turn. Well, good thing I didn't cast the Insul, huh? <laughs> good thing I didn't cast the Insul Artifact. I forgot about that card. All right, maybe they'll break again. Uh, Well, I kind of assumed they would have cast that last turn if they had it, so I'm just going to counter it and hope that's good enough. Like, there's no way they had that last turn, right? Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that is lethal. You can pay for Dispute, too. I think what they have is probably Mystical Dispute. I think they're just going to die with a Dispute in hand. Whew. All right, on the board. That was a tough game. All right, I mean, this is this is kind of the dream curve. Doesn't get a lot better than this. This deck does feel like it has very, very powerful draws. Okay, Mono Snore. <clears throat> yeah, I was on three main one board. Let's do this again. Opponents like new cards. Cheat! Cheater, cheater, cheater! You can't play new cards. I must play Mono Green. No, not even close. This deck feels powerful, but I think it needs a little bit of loving. The curve is a little too high. You're not allowed to play new cards. Shit, what do I do now? Playing Darksteel Citadel this turn is so sus if they have Karn. And same thing goes to be said about the Schooner. Bonacorn? I mean, honestly, if they have Karn, my best play is probably just non-Citadel land and then just jam the Insoul. Like, what am I even thinking about, right? Yeah, we just have to jam the Insoul here. They only play one Besage you anyways. What are the odds they have it? Is my curve absurd? I mean, my curve is really good if they don't have Karn the Great Creator. I guess even if they have Karn, my curve is still really good. Can we just jam and soul next turn if they Karn? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. But, like, it's weird, right? If I play Bunnicorn this turn and they go Karn uptick on this, then I don't have a target for Insoul. But, like, if I Insoul now, they then can't uptick on this now, which is why I think I like this play better. Okay. Wow, that was an absurd top deck. Holy shit. Because now they can't double block. That might be the best draw on my deck here, right? That was disgusting. So we kill this. And then I just go Michiko's pump here, attack for 10. Yeah. Or 11, actually, right? I think it's 11. I mean, they don't have to block. This is kind of disgusting. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. This this seems kind of crazy, right? Like this th this curve was ridiculous. But that's what I that's what I've been trying to tell you guys. Like Siren plus Machikos is so good. Like this card does everything for this deck. It's so good. Siren is nuts in this deck. Yeah, I mean Boat and Bunnicorn are definitely the two weaker of the two drops. And Soul and Machikos are your your higher upside two drops. Yeah, I think I agree, too. I think the Bunnicorn is probably the weak link here. Because Boat's still nice. Just, like, being an artifact for Insoul, and it's pretty good with skilled animators. So, Boat's still pretty decent, I think. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Because now if I pump the Siren, they can, like... If I pump the Siren attack with both, they just eat this chump here. <laughs> I mean, you know. So... One, two, three, four, five. So five, ten, eleven. Eleven minus that's zero. If I equip Siren and then put Shadow Spear on map token, I can't actually kill them, right? I don't think I can kill them this turn. Yeah, I don't think I can actually kill them. 
which is really unfortunate. All right, I'm just going to pump the Siren. And then I'm going to put Shadow Spear in the map token so they have to double jump block. I think this is, like, the only good way to do this. Right? Because I have two 6-6s six that they both have to block. And if they have Besager, then I'm fucked either way. <clears throat> I mean, it kind of sort of plays around Besaju. I'm still never beating that card if they have it. This honestly, Dragon Rage, this is only our second deck, so we haven't we haven't been able to get to a ton. I spent I, I played like three leagues with the white black deck. Which I think does have a lot of upside and a lot of potential. But the one issue is it's just like at least when I was playing it, it felt like there was too many clunky cards. They put the leveler on top? Why would they put the leveler on top? How are they casting it? <laughs> okay. Put leveler on top, concede. Good move. A very, very good move. <laughs> yeah, mistakes were made. Yeah, same thing. I'm just gonna I'm I I've, I've been cutting this every every match. I think we kept in one the last time. I'm gonna bring it into Storyville actually over the, the Bunnicorn. Yeah, the old put a card on top of my deck, draw it, and then immediately concede. Based. Beating green on the draw is hardened. I think we probably boat on two and just pray they don't have Karn. They can't have Karn every game, right? Bunny is crazy. It's only good if you have enough ways to kind of get it over. Which, I guess we have one Shadow Spear plus two... We have one Shadow Spear plus two Steel Seraphs. But I'm still not sure that's really enough. Yeah... I'm just going to cast the boat. If they have Karn, they have Karn. I really don't care. I'll concede to Karn. So what, maybe you think I should be cutting the scooter instead of... Hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe that's a better way to approach this matchup, is cut the schooner instead of Bunnicorn, because, like, Bunnicorn is good against Karn. I could see that. That is an interesting top deck. Well, I can't double Inspector this turn, right? And also, if I Ensoul, they just double block. So Ensouling seems kind of bad. I can go Inspector Michikos? Is that is that where we're at? What do you mean big boat time? If I Ensoul the boat, they still just double block. Like, that's not good, right? <clears throat> I think I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I think I like this. Just like, just pump up the siren a little bit. Attack for five. I don't think it's getting better than that this turn. Maybe they attack with troll next turn, and we can get a boat attack in there. Boseju. Uh, I will get an untapped talent fountain. And crew boat and Machiko it. Yeah, but then they still just chump block with troll, right? Like, is that good? Either way, they still can just chump block with troll and get plus mana. I mean, I guess it gets the troll out of the the equation. Maybe it's fine. All right, what's your last card, Bucko? It's a pretty good last card to have. And they thankfully did not mill storm. So I guess we're still playing, kind of. I'll take four. <clears throat> oh, they have leveler, though. God damn it. Uh, no good attacks. This sucks. Mono green, folks. Mono green. Trying to play new cards? Uh, 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 not so fast. I have no good plays. It's kind of a problem. Double and soul for a 10-10. Yeah, if only this was Rise and Shine. 
I guess it still wouldn't matter, because we can't rise and shine twice in the same thing. Crack the map token to trade on the cav. Um... Oh, so you want to in soul and then pop the map token to try and make a 6-6? Six, six? I mean, if I do that, they just put Cityscape on top of their deck and then I can't possibly win, right? Because then they just hardcast Cityscape and I can't kill it. So, like, that just loses to them putting this on top. <clears throat> Even if I spike a, a spell. No, I know. I know what you're saying. But it still just loses the chump block, put Cityscape on top. So I think that's not very good. I think I can't possibly win this game. Is this Destroyer Exile? Okay. Well, I mean... I guess they just get to pop the Insole Artifact now. But I have to, like, make them use the Cityscape. And then hope that I can somehow draw out of it after they use the Cityscape. I don't even know. Sure. You could concede and go to a game that hopefully isn't against Mono Green. Well, we have to go to game three. It's okay. We'll just beat them. We'll we'll crush them on the play. I'll make them feel bad for playing Mono Green. They should already feel bad, to be honest. What's up, Short Fang? It's like crew. I don't know if I'm blocking, but might as well crew. Eight, uh, twelve. Okay, you know what? We're we're done. We just can't win this game. I quit. You went. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Let's try Bunnicorn over Schooner on the play. I think Schooner is not that. Just doesn't line up that well against Old Growth Troll, because we can't ever attack with uh, Schooner into Troll. All right, never mulling this. Deck shaming opponent. They're playing mono green. They deserve to be deck shamed. I don't make up the rules, all right? Yeah, I think I portable hole here over and sold the map token. It's kind of close. I like this more if they have a troll. Because then if I rip a land, I can in soul plus hole their next play. Okay, what if they have two elves? Hmm. I actually have to Machikos here. Because <clears throat> if I don't Machikos here and they Karn, then I have zero chance. Because they shut off my Citadel. So I need to Machikos to try to be able to kill Karn next turn. Crack map and in soul hole. Crack map and in soul hole. I don't have enough mana to do all that. Okay, they just boarded in the Might Stone. Didn't expect that. Uh, fuck, man. I mean, now we just kind of have to insult the map token, right? Yeah, I don't think we have a choice. <clears throat> You know, nine. Last turn, when you attack with Siren and hold the elf, you could have explore on the Siren and then this turn go in soul. Oh, you wanted me to sack the map token last turn? I kind of wanted to keep the map token in play for in soul, though, right? So they just get Ratchet Bomb here. Nope, they don't get Ratchet Bomb. Which seems like a mistake, but I don't think it matters. Can I punish them for not getting Ratch Bomb? Um, not really. I can kill an elf and then attack the Karn. They can either chump block or let Karn go to one. If I insoul, I, I could insoul the portable hole actually. Send both at Karn. Uh, I played against one Amalia deck. It looked pretty good. I actually think insoling the portable hole might be better. I just send both at Karn. 
Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Because then even if they double chump block, right? Like, let's assume their their plan is to... Oh, wait, they're at nine. What if I send both of them? They have to chump block at least one. Yeah. I guess I just attack them with both. They do have to chump block. Yeah, then we could like Machiko on we can like Machiko on the flipped Machiko next turn. I think this is better. Like what's the worst they can really do? They can go land, down tick, get cityscape. But if they go land, down tick, get cityscape, they have to tap out, and then they're just dead to the Machikos. Right? Yeah, they would just be dead. Uh, no, because they can blow up the portable hole for an extra blocker. So they would have two blockers. They would be dead to a land, and then we could go hole plus Machikos. Yeah, I forgot they could just kill this and get another blocker back. They got Haywire Might. Okay, sure. I'm with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just can't kill the Karn. I think my only line is Portable Hole Target Haywire Might. They respawn, pop one of the insoles. Then I can go Machiko's on... Machiko's on something. They have to double jump block. Yeah. I think that's my only good line. So let's go hole. Target might. We're still in a really bad spot, I think. Oh, wait. They lose another blocker. Uh, I guess they're not dead because they gained two life. Okay. Yeah, but they gained two life, so they're not dead. Oh, wait, are they dead? Oh, they're just dead. <laughs> okay, never mind, they're just dead. Because <laughs> this becomes a 6-6. Six -six. Based. Based. See ya! Nice Karn. Nice Karn, buddy. <clears throat> Why didn't they exile the portable hole? They couldn't, it was a creature. This only hits non-creatures. All right, three, two, prediction. Yeah, might in fact does have words on it. Nice Karn, idiot. All right, I mean, I, I don't know what the point of that is, but I guess I'll keep. I'm making it up. Yeah, I'm clearly just seeing things. Me, 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 Yeah, apparently I'm acting crazy. Like everything has a mana billion higher than three, so you also hit your clones, make nine blood bright elves. Oh, you're trying to do like a combo deck. I see. Eh, I don't know. Man, what do I even do here? I think we have to just fucking jam, right? Whatever, just jam. I didn't come here to not jam. Nice tap land. Okay. Uh, not the worst. What is the plan? This blue, this blue thing is going to drive me insane, by the way. I hate it. I hate it here. Also, is that going to take up more memory? I think I'm playing both this turn... Yeah, I'm gonna play Boat Hold Up Stub. They probably have Cav, which sucks. Oh, fuck you. You have Besaju too. Come on, man. Okay, well, I guess I can play Skrelv plus Boat. Actually? Hmm. Now I can't hold up Stub, huh? The only way to hold up Stub is Skrelv plus in Soul. So much worse against Cav though. If I scrub if I scrub and insole the Cav and they play Cav, uh, if if I scrub and insole the Skrelv and they play Cav, then I'm just so far behind. I think I'm just gonna stick to my guns. If they go land, 
At least if they go land into Storm, I can soft stub, untap and soul slam for five and still have So I think this is just better. And like, if they had card, they would have 100% cast it last turn, right? Like, yeah, I think they just have Cav, which is fine. Oh, they just have nothing. Okay, well, they don't play two Besejus. So we should be okay. Should be chilling. Did we just skilled animator? We can go skilled animator. Target the boat. Pay two life. Pro green attack for six. Hold up stub. Kind of like that. I guess maybe it was better to have been soul plus three, but inspector. Uh, bro green. I will attack. Crew in response. Oh, you wanted me to use the animator to crew that so I could have explored? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just missed an explore, right? Okay, you're right. Yeah, I could have explored that turn. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe I'd want to block with the animator, but there's, like, I'm never going to chump block the layer with animator, right? Uh, well, they have no cards, so I'm just going to stub this. It's not lethal. Maybe I could have just let them have that. Wait, do I? I don't have lethal, right? Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have stubbed that. Well, this is awkward. Why did I stub that? I don't know. That was bad. I thought I had lethal. Mm. Okay, attack you for six. <laughs> Whoops. In before they just draw. Oh my god, you know they're going to draw the storm too. They are 100% going to draw the storm now. There's almost no way they don't. Alright, your turn. <clears throat> Please don't draw storm. Uh-oh. Could be still crew, it does not work that way. Um, We could. Yeah, we could have crewed. We could have crewed. I didn't think it mattered, but we could have. Okay, so I've been cutting these against them for this, which I think does make sense. Do we want a cheeky damping sphere instead of the destroy evil? Could even play a cheeky rest in peace for storm. I don't know if I like that though. Yeah, if you crew it becomes a 3-4, no longer a 5-5. Five, five. Because there's like a layers thing with crewing and animating and all that stuff. And I think it was better to just hit them for 5 there. Let me try this. Not playing Needle. Yeah, Needle's a good thing to insole. The sand is dope. Fastest keep in my life. Holy shit, the sand's good. Sand is everything that I've ever dreamed of. Yeah, there's like timestamps thing. Yeah, so takeaways from this league. One thing I've I've definitely noticed. The curve is a little higher than I'd like it to be. Now, the question we have to ask ourselves is, what is the worst two drop? And I think the answer is probably Bunnicorn. Right? Yeah, let's kill the elf and play the Shadow Spear. Yeah, I think the question we have to ask ourselves is between, <clears throat> between Bunnicorn and Boat, which two drop is worse? I don't know. I feel like we haven't got a ton of use out of the boat so far. But we also just haven't been put in a lot of positions where we were able to crew the boat, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I don't know. Boat's decent, Bunnicorn is nuts. Yeah, I mean, like, it feels weird to not play Bunnicorn if you're playing four Thraven Inspector and four, the, four of the Siren. So it does seem kind of crazy to, to you know... 
to do that. So we just go equip here, play Bunnycorn. Attack for six. <clears throat> Any Dexter cards blow you away in a good way. It's only the second deck we've played today. I was a really big fan of Warden of the Inner Sky. I think that card is amazing. Um, in this deck, I've been I've been really impressed with the Spyglass Siren. It's like a very, very innocuous card, but in the decks that it's good in, it just fills a very, very important role. So Schooner's been, you know, hit or miss. It's good sometimes, it's good not all the time. That card I can kind of take or leave. Maybe this deck only wants to play, like, two copies of Schooner. Ideally, how many one-drops should you be playing if your curve stops at four and you're an aggro deck? Uh, I mean, the typical the typical ratio is, like, ten ones, ten twos, five or six threes, and then three or four fours. That's, like, a, an a aggregate curve. But, like, there's a lot of context, too. Like, for example, if your one-mana creatures are elves, then you'd much rather have a bunch of, um, you'd much rather have a bunch of two, like a bunch of three drops, right? Because you're curving the elves into those. Yeah, be gone. Be gone, mono green opponent. Be gone. Even if they have you, they're still dead, right? Yeah, they're still dead even if they episode you. Cool. All right, so we beat green twice. <laughs> that was good. I mean, I would expect this deck to be green. I think that's part of the reason why you're playing a deck like this, is you would have a good green matchup, right? What? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I don't... I just... What did I just... What, what is this? What did I just open? My brother in Christ. <laughs> just sell it and ignore it. What is it? Glamdring? It's probably not worth anything, right? This card's probably worthless. <laughs> it's indeed a magic card, huh? Yeah, it's worthless. I can't even fucking sell it. I can't get anything for it. All right, let's take a look at the deck. Uh, LCI Blue White in Soul. Okay, so uh, just kind of for posterity's sake. Uh, 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 uh.